Hey crafty YouTube friends, it's Rena, and I am finally here with my explosion box tutorial and it's going to come in parts because I've never done a tutorial before. Well, I did one and it was terrible. Um, <clears throat> so I've never done one really properly. So I'm going to have to do it in stages and I started out with the base of the explosion box and <clears throat> I'm going to pull back over here and show you the beginning. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is your um, cardstock comes in 12 by 12. So you're going to cut it in half. So 6 by 12. And you want to cut four pieces of 6 by 12. So like that. And then you want to score each piece in the middle, just like this, and fold it with your bone folder. So you'll have four of these. Now, what you're going to do with these four pieces is you're going to pile them on top of each other, like so and adhere them down together in with whatever type of crafty stickiness that you use and that is going to be the base of your box. Now because you're piling four pieces of cardstock together the bottom of your box is going to be fairly sturdy. However, if you'd like to add a piece of lightweight chipboard. I wouldn't put medium or heavy because then you're going to have a gap. Um, but if you'd like to put a piece of lightweight chipboard um, down somewhere maybe in the middle or at the bottom, um, you can glue that in to give you more weight um, depending on what all you're going to put um, as far as your embell embellishments inside your explosion box. So that gives you the base of your box. So when you put your lid on it, it's going to hold your, it's going to hold all those pieces together. So that's the first thing that I do when I create my explosion box. So um, I will tell you that I went ahead and cut the pieces that I'm going to put on the outside of my explosion box. So your pieces that you're going to put here are going to be um, because you want a quarter inch difference. So each square of your cardstock is six by six. So you want each one of the, your uh, paper collection squares to be five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then it will leave a tiny little edge around to look beautiful like that. So I cut all my pieces that I'm going to use on the outside of my box. And that's just a little tidbit because so when I come back, I will have already put these pieces um, on the exterior part of my box. Okay, so that's your base. And then your inner box, you're going to cut your paper 10 inches long by 5 inches wide. So each inner box is going to be one inch smaller than the other. So 10 inches long, 5 inches wide, score at the center so that you have a 5x5 five five and a 5x5. Five five. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to adhere um, all your pieces. Now on this one, I would not add any chipboard to this. All you wanted it was on your other one for extra sturdiness. Um, so then you're going to have your next box that's going to be inside that 6x6 six six box. Okay? So you're going to glue all those bottom pieces together to make another 5x5 five five box. Now, the last one, you're going to take your 12 by 12 piece of 
cardstock and you're going to, before you cut it, okay, I mean I went ahead and cut mine, but before you cut it, you want to um, just score it at four and eight and then turn it this way and score it at four and eight. Then you want to take where you see the score lines, you want to cut off this end piece and each one of these outer corners you want to get rid of. So basically, you end up with a T. Don't throw these pieces away. You're going to be able to use these in your project at other points, and I will share that with you. So save these pieces. Okay. So now you, you have a T, and you have a score line at each, at you know, to making a square in the middle. So you want to fold that over. And your next one over, all the way around. And make sure you fold them really, really, crease them really well. And you end up with that. And then when you pop it open, this is your 4x4 box. So each box is going to sit inside the other. Um, so once you've glued your boxes all together, okay, well, let me take that back. Once you've glued each, like your six by six, you bring that one back, your six by six, and you have that one glued together. Leave that one separate for right now. And then do your five by five and then your four by four. Do not glue those boxes together, not yet, okay? Um, it is much, much easier to embellish them first and then glue them together. So I will be back hopefully later today with part two of the explosion box tutorial but that will that will be a good start and if you've never made one before that will take you a little while um, make sure that you pick up um, a cardstock that is going to be complementary to the paper that you're choosing um, I could have used um, a light green I could have used a pink um, I could have used a cream possibly even a white um, but definitely want to have complementary colors. So I'll be back. Um, I've got church today, so it will definitely be probably later this evening, but this is part one. Okay, um, I'm sorry if it's not wonderful, but it's the best I can do. And I know you guys have been asking and asking, and I, I'm not kidding you. I must have had 50 people ask me to do a tutorial on this. So hopefully this is helpful, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.